Hello, I am Jake Nowicki, and I'm here today with J.R.R. Tolkien. Thank you, Mr. Tolkien, for being here. Thank you, it's a pleasure being here. Now tell me, Mr. Tolkien, what was your childhood like? I lived in Blanfantine, Africa with my father, Arthur, and my mother, Maybell. We went bankrupt several times because of the, because of the economy. My brother, Hillary was, Hillary, was born February 17, 1894. My mother always told us fairy tales. That's when I began to write. When you were young, what school did you go to? The first school I went to was King Edwards. It was a highly prestigious school. After some time, we didn't have enough money to pay for my schooling, so I had to go to a school called St. Philip's. Then, I was granted a scholarship to go back to King Edwards. Why did you move from Africa to England? As I stated before, my family had many financial hardships in Africa, so we moved to England with relatives, while my dad stayed in Africa to work. What were some of your, your occupations? I was drafted into the infantry. I witnessed many of my friends die right next to me. During the latter part of the war, I was hospitalized with trench fever. I almost died. After the illness, I was honorably dis discharged. After the war, I was hired by a New English Dictionary and was a McEwen professor at Oxford University. How did you start writing? I was actually creating books for my children when my friend C.S. Lewis told me that I should publish them. I did and it became a hit. Mr. Tolkien, in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, you created your own language, Elvish. What prompted you to make it? Ever since I was a child at King Edwards, I've, I developed a love for language. I based, I based the Elvish language on the Welsh dialect, which I was very fond of. How long did it take to write your books? Eight years, and The Lord of the Rings took twelve. The longest time a book took was fifty years, The Cimmerillion, and I still never completed it. What is the theme of The Hobbit? The main theme of The Hobbit is not the size of the man that matters, but it's the size of the heart that makes a difference. Why did the Cimmerillion take so long to complete? I had many distractions during that time. My wife died and I had so many letters were coming in and I didn't ha have enough time to finish writing it. Now, Mr. Tolkien, let's switch to your personal life. How many children did you have? Oh, my wife, Edith, and I had four children. John, Michael, Christopher, and Priscilla. Edith and I were happily married for over 55 years. What happened in the later years of your life? I retired from Oxford in 1959. Eleven years later, Edith died of an inflamed gallbladder. That was the year I received Commander of the British Empire Award for my writing. With regards to major historical events, what were you doing when Queen Victoria died? I was eight and I didn't understand politics, so I really didn't pay attention or react to the news. What technological advances did you, did you witness during your lifetime? I experienced the first jet travel which is a major innovation. No longer did we have to endure the t a two-week boat ride. You fought in World War I. What did you do during wor World War II? I fought in one war. That was more than enough. Besides that, time had taken its toll, and I was 50 years old, too old to fight. What is your opinion of the Holocaust? It's unbelievable to me that any race would want to exterminate another. Jews didn't do anything to hurt the Jum German people. Yet Hitler wanted to kill all of them. It's unfortunate that an entire country could follow a madman. This is one of the themes of Lord of the Rings. How did you feel about England giving India freedom? It was the right thing to do. It's hard to rule a country from 5,000 miles away. Plus, there were many religious differences between our country and theirs. Did the Cold War frighten you? Yes, the lack of conversation about what was really happening was the scary part. Russia giving nuclear bombs to Cuba was equally frightening. How did you feel when the first person walked on the moon? I thought it was impossible. I was so amazed when it happened. I was, it brought tears of triumph to my eyes. Overall, now that you're in your latter years, what kind of impact do you think your books made on society? I feel satisfied and happy with my life. I feel that my readers enjoyed the books that I wrote, and maybe, just maybe, it will help my readers become better human beings. John Ronald's rule token died at the age of 81 on September 2nd, 1973. Two of his books were made into movies, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, making millions and winning numerous awards. His legacy will live on forever and be etched into the history of great writers. This is a Strider's sword in Lord of the Rings. 
and is, they are replicas of the real ones used in it. And this one has Elvish on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it says, The slaves of Mordor, Mordor shall free from me. And this is also a replica. And it's Aragon's sword. What? How long did it take, take to write it? I hit you. What? What? <laughs> no. <You're on. laughs> no. I lived in Blancetine, Africa with my father Arthur and my mother Mabel. We went bankrupt several times because of the economy. My father killed us. <laughs> After the war. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hurt! <laughs> oh! Where's the other? Where's my precious? Precious. 